good morning. So, how cold does it get in Thailand in the winter? I'm up here in Jangwat Nan or Nan province, which is in the north. It's on the same latitude approximately as Chiang Mai. Right now it's December, so towards the end of December. And it's around about 9 or 10 degrees Celsius where we are right now. In the town it's around about 11 degrees Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on a motorbike that I've rented with my friend Jim. We're going to go up into the mountains. We're going to show you some of the amazing scenery, what it's like up here in the winter when all the Thais like to come and sort of travel the north and also talk about sort of how cold it gets here as well as some of the words for winter, summer, rain and all that kind of cool stuff. Anyway, look at that. So, yeah. Let's get ready. Let's have a coffee first. There's James. Are you are you you're gonna dress like that, right? A sweater. You got a sweater. Definitely wear my sweater. Yeah. So not not the same as me with a leather jacket, a scarf, the whole works. <laughs> All right, these are the bikes we got. We got the Forza 350, and Jim has the Forza 350 over there. I have no idea who has that bike there, but uh. <laughs> This is what they had for rent. They had, there was no GS1200 or anything like that. People have already taken them because it's uh, high season in Thailand. People always come up here, rent the bikes and go into the mountains. So but these are good bikes, man. These are really good bikes. So we are at Giomuang, which is around about 35-ish, 30-ish kilometers from Nan Town. An astounding view over here. Whenever you get to these places, the first thing you do is you fly your drone. And you sort of pick the shot you want, you fly it and you take the shot. Because what always happens is they come out and tell you you can't fly your drone. The reason for that, understandably, is they worry that you're going to kind of go into, you know, flying around people's sort of rooms and sort of creep on them. So, you know, get out there, get the shot you want and bring it straight back. Uh, by the time they tell you off. Or just go around the corner and fly from around the corner. Anyway, time for a nice hot coffee. So the current temperature is probably around about 14, 15. So as we came up here, we came up here so th and we kind of lifted above through the clouds. In the town, it would have been about, you know, it's probably about two or three degrees warmer, but because we come into the mountains, we're sort of at the same temperature that we were back when we left. Sun's out though, feels good. Sun's out, feels good. James, what's the uh, coldest you've seen in Thailand? The coldest temperature you've, you've ever felt in Thailand? Minus earlier today. Probably last year when I was at a wedding. So my, or probably 10 degrees. Coldest I've ever seen it. So that's about on a par with today, right? Yeah, it's pretty cold today. There you go. Yeah, so the temperature in Thailand, typically if you're in like sort of towns and things, it doesn't usually get below eight or nine, in nine degrees Celsius in the winter. I mean, there are record temperatures and people tell you all sorts of stories, but that's kind of the coldest it'll get. And it only gets like that for like a few days to like a week or two in the winter typically, and that's up in the north. When you go up into the mountains, it will get down lower in single digits, but um, for the most part, that's about it. Bangkok, Bangkok you'd be really rarely, it'll get down to 16, but in the winter, there'll be a couple of days it gets down to about 18 degrees Celsius, but typically winter, nighttime Bangkok, you're looking between sort of 18 to 23 uh, but yeah, not for very long. It's like a couple of days in Bangkok. Bangkok's hot. <laughs> Okay, so the number three road. Um, yeah. Jim, what do you think about it? Lovely road. One of the best in Thailand. Yeah, I was a little, I'll be honest with you, a little bit disappointed because I was expecting something a bit more than that, but it was, you know, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, the roads, though, driving from there to this coffee shop right now are absolutely amazing. You know, the weather's warmed up a little bit, so the jackets have come off, the woolly hats have come off. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm a complete big wet blanket for wearing a jacket, scarf, woolly hat in Thailand. But I'm going through the mountains on a motorbike, so it's pretty cold. Okay, so next we're going to be going to a place called Bar. Uh, bar means like pit or pond or swampish, I don't know, bar, that's a good translation. Glue, I mean salt, so it's like the salt pits. Uh, we're not actually going to go to the salt pits, but it's a really, really beautiful sort of mountain village there. Um, so we're going to go and check that out. Pretty caffeined up because everywhere in the north that you go to relax, there's nothing to do but just have a cup of coffee. So I'm, I'm pretty amped up on, on, on caffeine. Um, when we get to Bok Glue, it's sort of in between Lao and Nan, so it's like right on the border there, and it's sort of in this valley, so the, the, the temperature should drop a little bit, uh, especially now it's in the winter. Let's talk about the word for winter. Jim, do you know the word for winter in Thai? I do not. You do not? Teach me. I'm going to teach you. So there are two ways to say it. The first one is Radu, Radu Nao. Right, can you say that? Radu Nao. Boom, nailed it. The second one is na now, na meaning face, now. That's actually the one that no they normally use in spoken Thai. So you've got na ron, which is summer, na now, which is winter, and then what's the other one? What do you reckon? Wet? Yeah, well, what would, what would, what's the word for wet? Rainy season, na. Na wet. Na wet, that's <laughs> na fawn, na fawn. Na fawn, okay. Yeah, so you've got the three seasons in Thai. That being said, I kind of prefer to call winter in Thailand the dry season because it's kind of hard to call it. Especially if you're down in the islands, right? It's kind of hard to call it winter when it's not really cold. It's just more like it's not raining as much and not as hot. There you go, got some food. We are here at Sapan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly the drone in just a moment. You can get a, like an aerial view of how beautiful this place is. But I'm gonna go on the side of the road and fly it because it's, it is weird. A lot of guest houses, they're like, you, you, they'll tell you you can't fly the drone. Jim, what's your opinion on, on guest houses telling you they can't, that you can't fly your drone? Well, got two minds about it. I think you should be able to fly your drone. However, if it's your business, kind of your rules, right? That's the thing. So you're not really, I mean, they don't own the skies. So on the one hand, I get it because some people are creepy, right? They, they, they fly their drone and then they kind of go and creep on people in the shower. Because a lot of the places in the mountains, the showers are kind of like open at the top and, and things like that. So like the rule, like people don't want you to do it but they don't actually have any right to say no so you could just go on the side of the street and fly it so i don't know let me know again in the comments what do you think about the rules on drones i do get it rules are for fools right some people are you know they act like clowns they fly them low they crash them they creep on people but for someone like me who's trying to get sort of scenic shots where i'm like sort of four or five hundred meters in the air and i'm two kilometers out i don't know okay that's enough coffee and food we're now going up to a mountain called uh doi puka interesting the northern dialect, they, a mountain they call Dai. And I think this was the guy who was the one who told me that back uh, many moons ago. So Kao or Pukao is the sort of Bangkok dialect for mountain. And they'll often call something like, in English we'd say Mount Everest. They would say Kao Yai, uh, or they would say Kao Ito. Like they'll have Kao and then the name of it. In the north it's Dai. So they say Dai Intanon, Dai Puka. There you go, a little bit of uh, language tips and dialects for you. So yeah, we're gonna get on the bikes, uh, go up to Doi Pukha, which is around about 40, 45 minutes away. Should be nice. Um, it'll be a bit of a tourist trap, but they sell some nice sweet potatoes. Let's go get some sweet potatoes. <music> So we are at the top here. The temperature definitely dropped down a couple of degrees on the way up. So I think for all intents, but you know, for, for most situations, if you're looking at Bangkok in the winter, on the colder days, 
18 to 20 in the night time, 25 to 30 in the daytime. Doesn't happen very often. When you're up in the north, in the valleys, in the towns, you'll see temperatures of sort of 9, 10, 11 quite regularly during the winter for like a brief period of time. Then the daytime goes up to between 23 and 31 degrees Celsius. Up in the mountains, temperature drops again. So that's kind of about how cold it gets in Thailand. The islands don't get cold really at all, uh, comparatively speaking. So um, yeah, there you go. Nan, the north, the winter of Thailand. Nan now, beautiful. Anyway, I think we're gonna head back to Nan town, which is around about maybe 40 minutes from here, maybe a little bit more. And uh, call it a day, it's been a fantastic day, driving around, the roads are amazing. And what I'll do is I'll leave you with some scenic shots of the roads cutting through the mountains here up in Nan. See you later everyone.